How are y'all? How, how y'all doing? How y'all doing tonight? So, um, crafties, fellow artists out there, I wanted to have a little talk to you about sketch covers. It's going to be in our tips. Sketch covers. Now, you know these things. These are these blank variants that you get when people want you to draw on them and make art on the cover. And they go get them graded and resell them for hundreds of dollars that you never see, right? Um, but whenever you're working on a cover, this is an older one. Sometimes you get these things like logos that get right in the way. This is a rather tame version. Sometimes you get giant logos, and they can take up this much, this much part of the cover. Like, like, like if this is the cover, they could take up like that much. Sometimes. I've seen, I've seen them take up almost half the cover. It's fucking ridiculous. You, you probably ask yourself a hundred times if you're an artist, how to do this? If only I could get a blank sketch cover. Right? Well, it could be blank. And I've seen people do things where they like, they try to draw them this way, but then when they sit on your wall, your fucking drawing is lying like horizontal. You know, it doesn't work. Um, you know, you angle. Generally, what happens is they just draw giant heads, right? Um, the artists that care, the the ones that have a lot of fame and don't give a fuck, they they don't they don't even care. They don't give a shit. Um, but you probably let's say you wanted to get rid of that logo. There's an easy way to do that. Well, sort of easy. There is a way to do it. Um, now, first, before I get onto the subject, I want you to know I've tried a million things. I've tried uh, paint, right? I tried, let me see if I can show you some examples here of that. Oh, gee, you'd think I would have had that cover absolutely handy. Yeah, so I've tried, see, like this cover here, because that takes up a pretty good amount of space. Now, on this one, uh, I've tried painting white gouache. White, white calligraphy ink, um, maybe designing it so that they're silhouettes, right? So like you could do color here and then you can come down to silhouette. This is painting over white acrylic. And if you can see, it's kind of hard. The difference in marker is ridiculous. Um, you also can't put color pencil on there if you want to or anything else. So you run into these problems, right? And then sometimes these things are colored like in this case, this sucker's colored red. What if you wanted to do a nice nighttime shot and you got this big fucking red strip of color down there? What are you going to do? What are you going to do? And what if on the Thor cover, someone wants, you know, someone who ain't Thor and, you know, you're stuck with the fucking Thor. So, um, it, it does happen. Uh, what to do? So, this, there's a way around this. Um, oh, something else I even tried, right? Was I tried paste up. Check this shit out. So, this is where I drew a character... Um, had them kind of figured out, then I trace where the hair would go. And then on a separate piece of paper, if you can kind of see, this is a separate piece of paper. Uh, I glued this on and then did the coloring over that. And that that's that's that got me closer, right? That got me closer. Um, the problem is eventually, you know, 20, 30 years from now, whatever, the glue will wear off. No matter how good the glue is, it's going to come off, right? It's going to come off. doesn't matter what happens maybe they're in a shitty environment they got a big warm room and there's humidity that's not going to work so uh there is only one other way i can think to do this and i didn't invent this um i can't because it's so obvious um now that i've i've discovered it didn't i sort of stumbled onto this on my own and then immediately realized you know someone else had to figure this out and i've looked around and, and people have so i thought i'd make a video to help you and what that is is sandpaper. Sandpaper is now your best friend as a sketch cover artist. I'm telling you right now. So you can just sand these fuckers right the hell off the cover. <laughs> it is quite amazing. And you're probably wondering, is that true? You know, is that absolutely true? Well, we're going to do it right now. We're actually going to sand some shit right off. Hi, hello, Leon. How you doing? So I got the chat window open. I will show you, right? I've got two copies of the sketch cover. 
Here's what this looks like. Death of Spider-Man, right? I've already sanded off half of it. I have a second sketch cover, half of it, right? And what happens is when you sand it off, you're going to notice there's some differences. It's got a little bit more of a texture to it. Um, however, when you color over that, it, it all blends in. So you don't have to worry about it. That's drawn over, colored over. It all blends in. This actually had the, what the hell is this? Scarlet Spider? Spectacular Spider? What book? See, now I don't even know what book this is. Uh, this is the Scarlet Spider, right? Yeah, Scarlet Spider. Right? Right. Avenging Spider-Man. It's an Avenging Spider-Man, whatever. It was all right here. I completely removed it from the cover using just some sandpaper. So I did half this here, right? And now we're going to just do the other half to show you how long it takes. It can take about 10, 20 minutes. It takes a little bit of elbow grease, but it does work. And we're going to do it. So I've tried a bunch of different types of sandpaper. The best to start, you only need two, two versions. You need a rough, a smooth, and then I recommend also some paper towels. I like Bounty. I like Bounty. Um, this is a 220, 220 grit. It's strong enough for a man, but you know. <laughs> So um, let me see if I can grab the camera so we can zoom in a little bit here. Wherever my camera controls may be. Where are they? Here they are, webcam controller. And it always puts it on the other monitor, dose monitor, it's over there. So let's zoom on in. Okay, now I'm just gonna fold it and I'm gonna start Sandpaper in itself. I like to do little circles, right? And you're wondering, oh, it's putting black smudges. This shit, it comes right out, folks. It's not gonna. You don't have to worry about it. Do, 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 do. You know, you could put on some uh, some music when you do this. Maybe a little, little justice or techno music. And then you can sort of use the edge as you get in there to kind of start to peel away. Look at that. You don't want to dig into it, you just want to scrape the surface. So if it's a big logo, it could take an hour. However, you know, the upside is your sketch cover is going to look pretty, pretty snazzy. This is just a couple minutes here doing this, right? It's not even 20 minutes, just a couple minutes. Let's go ahead and scrape that off. Look at how quickly that, that got done. Plus, let's say you only wanted, you could do some cool dithering effects with this. Like if it's like Wolverine, you could probably just scratch the shit the fuck up and have them ripping through it and stuff. You, know, you could get creative with the different textures if you want. Make it look all retro and shit. Bet you never thought you'd be tuning in to watch me do this shit for 10 minutes, right? Oh well, suckers. It's equivalent exchange, right? You gotta give back a little bit to get something. So it takes a little bit of elbow grease here. I'm just using these little circular motions and then toward the little bits of the scraps left over, I like to kind of use the edge here kind of scrape it off and you kind of want to find out wherever it's not going with you want to go against the grain a little bit to get it off get it, remove it from the paper and look it's not removing the cover it's all there plenty there plenty there it's not it's not cutting through it's just surface level stuff here you know, the ink doesn't penetrate all the way through the paper. I've tried this on several different logos. It works.
Now for these little bits and pieces left over, I got a softer grain. Uh, I think it's like a 300. Remember, the higher number, the softer. Just a slightly softer bit. You can use that to smoothen it out. Get those little pieces left over. It's never going to be 100% smooth, but once you have color on there, it's irrelevant. Even if it's black and white, it's, it's irrelevant. And then, what I like to do is use the paper towel to actually add another level of polish smooth. Because the paper towel has some little bit of grit to it, if you can believe that. It's with these bounties. Let's press down a little bit. Take a little paper flakes off. Look at that shit. It's amazing. Oh my god, it's all gone. You don't even have to worry about it. So, uh, why, don't, why don't we just go ahead, take a few minutes here. I said 11 minutes, and eh, it's a pretty quick to, you know, uh, tutorial. Let's see if we can get rid of the barcode. Want to see if we can get rid of the barcode? I'm pretty certain we can. Pretty certain we can come right over here and get rid of this shit if we wanted to. Look at that. And get rid of those too. Just come right over here and small little circular motions. Smaller little area you want to get. Put on a TV show or podcast while you're doing this, right? Kill some time. We got the smoother stuff. How would I get the effect of like the girl going over the logo? To get that same effect, you would just probably check this out. Let's say I wanted to just have a piece of that gone. I could grab a pencil. If I have a pencil here, see, I don't, you never have a pencil when you need one. Probably wouldn't be quite the same thing, but you could map out with a pencil where you wanted this to go and then you're gonna have to it's gonna probably take a little bit more work but with the very edge of this see you can go in there and just get the area you want out so you just gotta use the edge My hand's a little bit sore from already doing this for about 10 minutes, but... See, comes right off, man. Of course, the more you press into the paper, the deeper that sort of goes. But this, this stuff's pretty thick, you know? Maybe the IDW ones, you know, you'd probably just want to remove the entire logo. Because you're not going to have a lot of room to do special cutouts. Here's some of that off. You probably could even get a Dremel, maybe. A little sander. A little Dremel sander. I haven't tried that yet, but I will. And I'll get back to you on that one. Maybe a little Dremel sander might make it faster. But it could also burn the shit out of the paper. So, probably 
light the sketch sketch cover on on fire, right? So you got that, and then what you could do is you come over here. You know, you color inside right there and if it's scratchy and you want it a little bit more clean you just fill it in with black marker or even black color pencil you could just outline the character Sandpaper is your friend. There you go, right? Remember, you want to make certain that you got it all cleaned off before you add the color pencils and the markers and stuff like that. Otherwise, you'd be it could be a little bit of a mess. See? Make sure it's the last thing you do is add stuff. So, sandpaper will remove all this shit. And, quite frankly, save a lot of time. Personally, for me, I don't know if I would do a lot of like hair going through a logo thing. I would just remove the whole logo and color it. But you're welcome to do whatever you'd like to do. <sighs> so nice, right? We all learn something. We all learn something. We all become better artists. So there you go, folks. I will be doing that here shortly, uh, next day or two, because i got a whole bunch of sketch cover bullshit to do. That's it. If you have any comments or questions, please leave them below. I will answer them. And this video will be live in tomorrow. Be live tomorrow. So, peace, folks. See y'all soon. Bye. Sandpaper.